So I keep seeing literally everywhere on TikTok and Instagram and whenever I open my phone that women aren't supposed to drink caffeine on an empty stomach and also shouldn't work out on an empty stomach because it like spikes your cortisol levels, something like that. So I've been trying to eat like a little tiny something before I go to the gym and when I have ca caffeine. So I had coffee this morning. So I'm having some, <clears throat> some sourdough with a little bit of vegan butter and Marmite, which I've recently discovered that I actually like. I used to think I hated it. Also, happy Friday. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna go hit glutes. I wanna do a really solid glute and quad workout today. Happy Friday, it's Friday, I'm excited. We're going to a Halloween party tonight. So, lots of fun stuff. Today's gonna be a fun day, so I'm trying to be really productive this morning, get everything done that I need to so I can enjoy the afternoon and evening. Ah, yes, pig, you got it. You gotta show me a picture of her. I'm so excited for you. such a good glute workout guys like i actually i feel like my glutes are gonna be so sore tomorrow i'm so excited i love like a gnarly friday workout for some reason then i'm sore all weekend i don't really know why i like it but i like to like finish the week off strong and then kind of just like chill the rest of the weekend anyways um if any of you guys watched i don't even remember which video it was it was a couple videos ago and I was talking about how I was starting to use this Silly George Lash Growth Serum. This video is not sponsored, by the way. But I wanted to update you guys because I told you that I would. I've been using this for, like, I don't know, maybe like three, four weeks now. I got off Amazon. It's, like, natural. It doesn't, um, like, it has not irritated my eyes at all. I've been using it twice a day, every single day. I will upload, or I will insert, like, some before and after. But, oh my gosh, so I just curled my eyelashes. Hold on, I'm going to try to, like zoom in a little this is just my eyelashes curled like they're literally so long I've grown so much i was looking at the before pictures i kind of wish i had taken the before pictures on my phone because they're like a little bit blurry on my camera because i it wasn't like completely focused but even then you can still tell like i mean i know because i'll put mascara on and my eyelashes will like literally bother me because they're like hitting the top of my brow whatever that is like they're so long that like I can actually like feel them and I used to not be able to so they've obviously grown like I can just tell even without looking at them but anyways I will link this down below because I absolutely love this stuff I've been like debating getting eyelash extensions but I know that they're bad for your eyelashes and I was like you know I'm just gonna try to like grow them naturally because why not then I don't have to pay for lash extensions I don't have to damage my eyelashes um, and yeah, I haven't noticed any negative side effects. Obviously everybody's different, but like my eyes have not been irritated at all by this. It's anyways. Yeah. Enough about that. I wanted to vlog this weekend because I feel like I have a lot of fun stuff planned. Um, so I'm still doing operation 66. I feel like the, the things that are the most different about operation 66, if you guys don't know what that is, um, it's like this health wellness challenge that I came up with. That's in my opinion, better than 75 hard because it's way more doable, way more attainable. Um, so I've been meditating every day. I've been stretching every day. I actually still need to stretch today. I did my meditation early this morning. Um, I feel like I've just been going harder at the gym just because I've just been like more focused on my health. I've been eating really well, a lot more protein. Um, I have barely been drinking like I mean, I've been trying to limit it to like special occasions or like if I if I am going to like have a drink with friends or like have a drink with James, like on our date night I had like a beer. Um, then like I try to just limit it to like one drink, like I'm not trying to get drunk. But speaking of special occasions, um, tonight we are going to a Halloween party. It's actually the weekend before the weekend of Halloween, so it's like kind of a early Halloween party. But we're going to a Halloween party tonight and I'm definitely going to drink like more than one drink. But I do kind of want to take it a little easy because I have to work at the spin studio early tomorrow morning. I have to be at work at 7.30 and 
I do not do well when I'm hungover, especially like around people. I just get anxiety. So I just want to try to have a good time tonight, but you know, not overdo it, if that makes sense. I got your idea. What is, that? is that a marble? I thought it was a grape. That's way too shiny for a grape. We are going to happy hour to get lunch and a few beverages because it's Friday and we can do that. We're doing green tea shots. I've never had one before, but I'm inspired by that girl on TikTok who's a bartender. So do not drink the whole thing. goes berserk. <laughs> Yay, Wiggy. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> so I'm all alone today. I'm living by myself today. Um, James is in Mexico. He actually is coming back today, but he was gone all day yesterday and then last night. So I didn't actually vlog yesterday at all. <laughs> I was a little hungover from the Halloween party, which was very fun. I, why am I so bad at vlogging? Can someone explain? Like, it's so annoying. I don't know why I always forget. But anyways, the Halloween party was fun, but it, I had to work in the morning at like 7.30. So, you know, I had that thought in the back of my head. So I felt like I couldn't like fully enjoy myself because I was like, I don't, function well when I'm hungover. So I was hungover though, a little bit, but not too bad. Um, so I went to work and then I had a grub day, which is what James and I call like just a lazy day where you order takeout food and like watch movies all day. And I honestly, I haven't had a grub day in a while because I've been on like this health grind. James and I haven't really been drinking that much, but um, yeah, I kind of, you know, it's fine. I did vlog yesterday, but I did get plant power and I basically watched House of Dragon and then my friend came over and we watched um, Love is Blind. <laughs> so it was a great day. I love a good grub day, a good rest day, but it is Sunday, it is a new day, it is a fresh start. And honestly, like I think because I'm such an independent person and I literally love my alone time so, so much, like I'm so comfortable doing things by myself. I love my own company so much um, that like, obviously James and I live together and we do give each other our own space. Like we are like hanging out with our own friends. We have our own separate lives, which I feel like is really important, especially when you live together. But like, it's kind of funny. Like when James goes on a trip or like if I'm leaving, I feel like we both kind of like get excited. Obviously I miss him so much, but um, it's just like kind of exciting. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be by myself like there's so many things I can do not that I can't do it when he's here but I don't know if that makes sense so now I'm like oh my god I'm gonna like wake up I'm gonna go get a coffee I'm gonna go on my hot girl walk I'm gonna like do little self-care things like just do whatever I want I'll probably clean the house too because it's a little dirty um there's like some chores I need to do but that's the idea for today so I'm actually gonna go to this new coffee shop that just opened up down the street really want to try it out so I'm gonna go get a coffee and do a hot girl walk. That will be my exercise for the day. And I'm gonna listen to a podcast. I'm excited. Let's get her. So this is actually a bodysuit, like like a leotard, um, but I'm just wearing it like fully. I also literally just started my period like five seconds ago, so that's fun. Um, it's fine. I'm wearing my hokas, obviously. Let's go. I stopped by Target, so I'm gonna do a really quick haul. I literally got three things. Also, Squiggy's eating his greens. So I had to get some greens because he's been out for a few days and I try to give him greens every single day. 
So when I run out, I kind of got to get some more. They also go off so fast, which is so annoying. Um, so yeah, I just gave him some of that. I'm going to give Pickle some too and some bell pepper. Then I got this GT's like mushroom root beer. I really want to try it. I love root beer. Um, I'm not a big soda girl, but if I like have to get a soda, I will always get root beer because it's literally the only, the only good soda. Don't want to try that. And then because I have literally the world's crustiest nails, they are so brittle, cracked, dry. I have tried everything under the sun, like so many different products. And literally like my pinkies had grown so long and I was like, oh my God, finally, have I figured it out? Like, are they actually gonna grow like natural, natural and long and strong? They ripped off yesterday. Like four of my nails just broke. Um, so I found this like, it's a nail peel off mask. I'm gonna try it. I don't really have hope at this point. Like I've pretty much given up. I also think I'm gonna get my nails done next week because I've been trying to grow them out for so long. I'm like, okay. I always try to do things like the natural way. I know I feel like that sounds pretentious, but like I've been, instead of getting like eyelash extensions, I've been using that lash growth serum because I'm like, I may as well try to do it myself before I like get something that's um, like artificial and also could damage my, na uh, my eyelashes. And then obviously like getting your nails done can damage your nails or does damage your nails. So I'm like, I'd rather do it, like try to grow my nails out like strong and healthy first, but it's really not working at this point. So I think I'm probably just gonna get, um, I might get like gel extensions next week because like I don't, I just want like nice nails and also I feel like I know that gel extensions are better for your nails than like acrylic. So I wanna try it because I feel like if I did have like fake nails for a while, maybe it will like help protect them because they're not like out in the sun. I don't know guys, I'm trying everything. So I wanna do this little mask today because I feel like that's fun. Um, I'm gonna make breakfast now because I haven't eaten anything and I told you guys that I am trying to eat food when I have coffee, but I didn't do that today because I had coffee first. But that's fine. <gasps> no! You want to be in the video? Oh, you're eating my phone. <laughs> cleaning Mr. Pickle's cage right now and I'm gonna clean the house after this. What did I do? I applied for a job and I made like a little kind of like not life plan but sort of like end of the year plan um, which is something that I've been putting off so I'm just trying to be like a little bit productive but I feel like I'm still just kind of tired from like yesterday and I just kind of feel like chilling so I'm just gonna do like the chores and then I think James is gonna come home just knowing him, we're prob he's probably going to want to get, um, like he's probably not going to want to make dinner. So, um, I don't know, we'll probably get food, but I kind of want to eat something healthy. And then Pickle's chilling on the couch. <laughs> Pickle! Hey! I'm aggressively cleaning before James gets home. <laughs> He's back. So pretty. <laughs> we just missed the sunset, but it's okay. We saw it on the way up. Hello, everybody. I told you guys that we would get takeout. We got Thai. I got tofu pad Thai and a Thai iced tea and we're gonna watch The Great British Baking Show aka The Greatest Show in the entire world.